Well, good morning, church. And this morning, we're going to be continuing on through the book of Ephesians. I'm going to be picking up exactly where Pastor Brandon left off in chapter 2, verse 6. And this tells us, He also raised us up with Him and seated us with Him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages He might display the immeasurable riches of His grace through His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For you are saved by grace through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is God's gift, not from works so that no one can boast. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. There's really two main things I want to focus on from these verses. The first of those being what it says right here in verse 8. For you are saved by grace through faith. This is not from yourselves, it's God's gift. It's so easy for us to fall into some pattern where we feel like, yeah, Jesus saved me, but man, I got to make sure I do this too. And, and we start trying to earn these Jesus brownie points in our lives. And, and that's just not how our salvation works. It's, it has nothing to do with what we do at this point. It's all because of what Jesus has done that we've been saved. There's nothing we can do to add to that. There's no need for anything to add to that. And anytime we try to act like we need to do something else along with putting our faith in Him, it cheapens what He did on the cross. That was the ultimate sacrifice that completely paid it. That, that hymn that says Jesus paid it all, it, it's so true. He paid the entire debt right there on the cross. Now I know it's dangerous to put it that way because some people say, okay, well I trust in Jesus, now I'm going to go live my life however I want. Well that's why the end of this passage is so important. It says, for we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. And if you look at the beginning, it tells us why we should do those good works. It tells us that He raised us up with Him and seated us with Him in the heavens so that in the coming ages He might display the immeasurable riches of His grace through His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. God wants us to be a part of what He's doing. And, and the way He does that is by working through us. By, by, we're literally allowing God to work through us and further His kingdom that way. Our good works help other people to see His grace. That's why we need to be living out our faith. It's about, one, it honestly benefits us to be a part of what God's doing. It is the most fulfilling thing we could possibly do. But also, we want other people to experience that same grace, that same fact that we're not bound in sin anymore. We're not slaves to sin, but we're children of God, that other people can experience that and see a little bit of who God is through us and because of God working through us. And so I hope you think about that as you, as you work on how to live out your faith. Realize how important a witness it is and, and just how much it can further the gospel when we truly step out in faith, when we, we truly live out what God's Word says. I'm looking forward to continuing on in Ephesians tomorrow with you guys.